I'm here to talk to you today about some improvements that we've delivered in our code generation products in 17B and 18A. These uh, improvements we're talking about are in the code generation engine itself, so they're not product specific. Um, most of these optimizations that I'm going to show you apply in MATLAB coder, simulant coder, state flow. So this first example came from a customer application in ADAS. Um, they were having problems because uh, the generated code was using too much RAM and was not performant enough on their target. So we did a deep dive on their application and we found several places where we could make improvements. And you can see between the old code and the new code, we greatly reduced the RAM usage in this example. In the same application, we also were able to eliminate data copies, um, one of which inexplicably was in a parallel for loop. Another feature that we delivered in 17B is to be able to synthesize mem copy for var size matrices. Uh, previously, that capability really only existed for static matrices. So you would get this uh, if you're using uh, var size outputs in Simulink or uh, variable sized matrices in MATLAB coder. Uh, Simulink's had the feature for a long time where it can reuse matrix constants between um, subsystems and MATLAB didn't have a corresponding feature like that. So in 17B, you can see in this example, there were two copies of this really large matrix constant and, um, sorry, in 17A, you got two copies and in 17B, that one copy gets reused between the two functions. Another feature that we delivered, um, I think in MATLAB Coder in 17A and now it's turned on in Simulink and it improved, has improved every release, 17B, 18A, is that we delivered a very powerful version of loop invariant code motion. Um, what that means is you can see in 17A, there was some code inside the for loop that would compute the same value on every iteration of that loop. Um, in 17B, that code's been pulled out. Now, it, that kind of looks like an easy example, but uh, what we delivered is actually pretty powerful. In this case, you can see there's a nested for loop and the entire loop execution does not change between iterations of the outer loop. So the entire loop is being pulled out. In 18A, we built an optimization um, after seeing that in system objects, a lot of times in the initialization code, you would see these weird looking while loops that as a human being you can look at it and you can see that loop's only executing one time and you kind of wonder why it's there. Um, and again, this example looks pretty trivial. It definitely reads better. Um, this is an example from computer vision where that optimization kicked in. And because we were able to eliminate that control flow, the rest of the compiler really was able to optimize this code a lot better. Um, it could do a lot more constant propagation and expression folding. We continued in 18A to look at that ADAS example because it really highlighted some uh, inefficiencies in the generated code. So we were able to deliver uh, more improvements in 18A and we're continuing to look at that example and computer vision examples going forward. So the takeaway is that every release our generated code gets much better and you should upgrade every release. When you find gaps, send us real examples. Um, don't send us general problems, send us real examples and we will focus on them and we can make big improvements. Thank you. Thank you.